All right, y'all. So I want to talk about what keeps me motivated is a, uh, as a as a person that drives a truck 12, 13 hours a day, every damn day. Before I end this vlog, man, vlog, man, no goddamn vlog, a vlog. Before I end this vlog, man, I'm gonna show you guys my my lunch, man. I'm gonna go ahead and and eat right now. We're gonna close this motherfucker out. So we started at six this morning. Is now 11:24. Bust it, bust it open, bust it open. You feel me? Bust down, Tatiana. Come on, Tatiana. Come on, baby. Take your drawers off, man. Take your drawers off, man. All right, there you go. There it is. You see it? Two minutes is on. Uh, two seconds is gone. It's a dirty, nasty, stinky world in this motherfucker, man. You gotta be self motivating. Every day I work, man, I see the bigger picture flashing in front of my eyes. You feel me? Poppin' GE Gangs. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fushnicker, man. Six o'clock in the morning. We're about to get to it. Uh, grabbing my shit and my gloves. Like today, we're gonna talk about, man, how I stay motivated as a truck driver and what gets me through the year, even when I have my down, my down days and my frumpy days. You feel me? Uh, we're gonna talk about it. Um, but first, let me get my shit all the way together, man. Get this truck prepped. Oh, shit. Ah. You feel me? Let me get my truck all ready and my car parked, and I'm gonna get at you guys in a couple minutes. Yeah. Hey, I suggest you get one of these for you guys' car, man. I ain't nobody about to run up on me. You feel me? Like, I see you guys coming from a mile away, man. This right here, you got it for your car. Feel me? All right, y'all. So, I want to keep you guys updated on my weight loss journey. You feel me? This is breakfast. I know this looks like some rabbit food. You feel me? And water right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's salami. And then you got pepper jack on that one and sharp cheddar on that one, bro. This, this is hard. You feel me? Like, I love, my body loves carbs. You feel me? Uh, my body loves carbs. Uh, if I look at a carb, I gain five pounds. You feel me? Like, and we're not talking about complex carbs like broccoli and asparagus and goddamn salads. We're talking about hardcore goddamn uh, jasmine rice and got them white breads and breads period and potatoes that's my body loves that shit i grew up on that shit in la we ate a lot of that shit you know what i'm saying we weren't poor poor but we were we were uh, but um to go from uh eating that type of shit to feel me to this this is different you know what i'm saying and this is i don't have this every day uh, like yesterday, I had some uh, sausage and some egg whites and shit like that. But that's how disciplined I'm trying to stay, man. That's how serious I am about getting this shit right, man. Like, I can't say I discipline it in every facet of my life, and I can't even get my what I put my mouth down. That shit don't sound right, you feel me? So, yeah, that's what we are. That's how we're going to get our day started, and we are going to go get a sugar-free coffee. Got to have it, man. It's early as fuck in the morning. It's a 13-hour day. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, we're going to talk about how I stay motivated as a driver, man. I'm telling you right now, it's like... 45 fucking degrees it's cold as shit i did not want to get out the bed like it was so hard to get out the bed i made it here uh with two minutes to spare by the hair of my little chinny chin chin two minutes before i would have been late you feel me um but yeah. 
it is what it is. I got to get up and get to it because uh, getting up later and coming up later is going to drag out the goddamn day. And now it's getting dark at 4 p.m. Like, where the fuck? 4 p.m. That day, like, saving shit is crazy. Um, anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, let me go ahead and scarf this shit down. It ain't shit. <laughs> it ain't no car. It ain't no bread. This shit going to go right now. And then we're going to get over to my truck and we're going to start this goddamn vlog off today, man. I appreciate the support from uh, on the channel. Um, like I said, we made that pivot from doing what I started a channel with to, you know, what I do for a living. And I, and I love it and it's fun, you feel me? So stick with your boy. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the channel like right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Share the video. Hey, you know. I'm gonna give you guys what you want, what you need. That's me, my personality. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, food chicken man. Give me a second, man. I'm gonna catch you guys when we rolling and we riding. Yeah. Oh, check this weather out, man. Not only is it cold, 50 degrees, it started raining out. You know, it's like kind of like the worst weather to be driving in because it gets slick out here and it's cold. Gotta watch out for that black ice. But I want to show you guys this stop. As you can see, I got honey buckets right there and honey buckets on the other side right here. But last time I came here, these little kids, man, these little kids, this is a um, little, it's called Little Wheel something. They got the race cars. I swear to God, boy, these kids is like uh, 10 years old looking like, I mean, they are race truck drivers. You know, I mean, race car drivers. Uh, they got the real barricades and everything. The tires and shit in case they crash into it. But this is literally like watching the uh, Indy 500, like for the little league type, you know what I'm saying? The little league of the tykes and them boys be taking it serious i'm talking about getting out talking shit fighting i'm talking about 10 years old this is how they get into them grown-ups and be getting out fighting each other man because they already been doing this since they was a child you see the, of course you gotta watch the parents are the worst ones you know and i and, and i ain't gonna lie i'm one of them because when i watch my sons play basketball and football i'll be hollering like a motherfucker boy but yeah, this is dope. This whole setup they got is like a real deal. Like the judges, the people that watch it to make sure it's safe, the parents, you know what I'm saying, on both sides. This is dope. But yeah, I want to show you guys this, man. And this weather. How the hell you stay motivated in this shit? You feel me? We're going to find out, though. Because these cars. All right, so I want y'all to see this big ass, massive sight that I'm going into, man, this is this is massive. I don't know what the hell they are building here. And why they put these goddamn barriers here now? What the fuck is this? That's stupid. That shit wasn't there before. But check that out, man. Look how massive this is. Man, this is massive. They got one building up there, and they got another one there, but I don't know what the hell they building here. At all. I know, all I know is they're gonna be here for a while. That's all I know. Woo, bless me. We're gonna pull over real quick and have this uh, conversation, man, because I don't have too much time. Because I can get caught up and before I know it, it's six o'clock at night. So we're gonna have this conversation like right now. So, I want to talk about what keeps me motivated is a, uh, as, a, as a person that drives a truck 12, 13 hours a day, every damn day, five days a week. I was uh, six days a week, but as of two months ago, I went down to five days a week. You feel me? Like, I, I, got, I get to the money. Oh, hold on, man. Hold on. Why All right. Yeah. So, I, I like to get to the money, but, you know, I felt like working six days a week, I could never do my side hustle, you know what I mean? Like I have a clothing brand that I really couldn't, I've, I've sold plenty of clothes on and on my website, on my Shopify site, but I never had time to really throw into it and uh, put into it what I want. Um, so I'm cool, they gave me Monday off. So now I'm just doing my side hustle shit, along with my YouTube shit and being, it keeps me, I can be more consistent. You feel me? Like six days a week, man, you really can't be too consistent with a lot of shit. So now I got Sunday, Monday off and I can be consistent. Um, but how I stay motivated, man, is like, why am I so, oh, oh, oh. All right. How I stay motivated, man, is uh, literally uh, one word, family, that's it, you feel me? Um, 
everything I do is like, it's, it's built around how I think it's around my family. You feel me? That's just how I rock. Um, so, um, and you know, me being from where I'm from, LA, you know what I mean? Like I was brought up in that environment of the motherfuckers that, I saw motherfuckers that didn't have shit and motherfuckers that saw shit. The people that I saw have shit were the drug dealers, the, the dope runners, the, man, you know, they had the, the, the flyers, cars, the old schools, even my uncle, man, you know what's crazy, my uncle, who I got everything from, like why I am the way I am, why I love clothes, shoes, uh, cars, shit like that. He had BMWs, he had the L codes, hard. But he was, he drove for a company, um, a, a box truck, you feel me? Like I think he had to have a class A for the, the box truck he, he drove. But I, I literally got that from uh, where I'm from, my environment, you know what I mean? And to see how the dope boys live, and I just know I didn't want to do that type of shit, but I want that fucking type of money because looking over your shoulder all the time just ain't my goddamn thing, bro. It's already hard looking over your shoulders as a, um, uh, somebody just living in America, as a, as a man living in America every time you walk out the door. So I didn't want that extra shit to me. I knew that growing up. I wanted the bag, but I didn't want that extra bullshit that came with it, you feel me? So. It took me a while to, to get to where I'm at. And at heart, I'm an entrepreneur, you feel me? I just feel like um, I'm not gonna work for somebody the rest of my life. That just, it's just not me, you feel me? Um, but I'm doing what I gotta do, right? It's not, I'm not gonna cry about it. But I, I literally stay motivated because of my family. Like, I love when they call me, you know what I mean? I can, if they ask me for something, I can literally be able to do it for them or go get it or whatever. I make shit happen. That's that's who I am, basically. I make shit happen. Um, and so when you have these, and trust me, I'm human for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I have my bad days. You know what I mean? But I got this light on in my head that stays on. And as long as I see that, I'm straight. So even when I'm having a bad day, I'm just like, well, stay the course. Stay the course. Because if you don't, you're going to set yourself back. You know what I mean? It's pointless. I've done that shit way when I was younger, man. I would, I would get my own goddamn way. You know what I mean? Like, I would, I would get so hot-headed and I'd be like, man, fuck them. I lose jobs, quit jobs, and get my own fucking way and be right back on the market looking for a job, looking stupid as fuck. But at the end of the day, I really didn't find my thing. Outside of being an entrepreneur, driving a truck is just, it's my thing. You know what I mean? Because I grew up being an introvert. You feel me? So, um, it took me a long time to be, I'm still an introvert, but you know, I could be an extrovert when I want to be. Um, and so driving the truck, being by myself, you know what I mean? Me, the radio, the truck, uh, my headset, people can call me hands-free, I can talk. I just love the freedom. I don't like, I will never go back, like I said, working into, a, I worked at plenty of warehouse jobs, man, that shit is, I don't know how you guys do it, bro, it's depressing. Summertime come, you locked in the building eight hours, 10 hours, bro. I can't, now that shit get me like type PTSD just even thinking about it. That shit was some of the worst time of my life. All those years I wasted doing um, warehouse work. But I'm saying, if you happen to like, as long as you, you have to figure out your purpose first, right? You have to figure out your purpose. My, my purpose is literally taking care of my people. I feel like that is my life's purpose to make sure my people are good. You know, coming from where I come from, you saw our people did what they had to do, whether that was being on government assistance, which we were. To, to, to make sure we, we we survived, you feel me? We did a lot without, but that government assistance came handy. I'm not saying take advantage of the system, like I can easily do that, right? It's, that's easy, but I like I, I like the challenge of getting to it. I love being an underdog. I love people telling me I can't do shit. It drives me like crazy, you feel me? Like it really drives me. So I'm saying like, if you're having a hard time staying, and to be honest with you, it has to be in you. It can't be on you. That, that I don't give a fuck how much it is in you. It, it has to start there. It has to be in you. But as long as it's in you, you're gonna be you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be, you're gonna be able to find that little thing that's gonna keep driving you every day to get to where you want to get to. And I, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I was. But I, I know for a fact, without a shadow of doubt, I'm gonna be where I want to be. I'm gonna be that entrepreneur where I'm at home with my family all the time, working from a laptop. That is my end goal. You feel me? So that pushes me every day. I have to do the little shit to get to the bigger shit. And I gotta. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a marathon, you feel me? Like, I know I want it like this, but that ain't how it's coming. So I gotta stay the course and I gotta stay consistent. I've been so inconsistent with a lot of shit in my life and it has got me nowhere. So the only uh, only thing I can do now is, uh, uh, is be consistent and see where that gets me because being inconsistent got me no fucking where. So 
Uh, that's what I'm on. I'm on my consistent shit with YouTube, with everything I'm doing, just being a better person, learning every day. I'm trying to be consistent with, with everything. And right now, being on this uh, on this weight loss journey, like if you guys don't know, like I put on 50 pounds, I went from being 230 to 280. You know what I mean? So now I'm being consistent with my eats because obviously being inconsistent has got me to 50 pounds, making all types of goddamn excuses. You feel me? Like, it don't, it don't get you nowhere. And at the end of the day, you know you're lying to yourself. If you're okay with looking in the mirror and lying to yourself, and I, I can take accountability. Like, I know I'm lying to myself. I, it's not even lying. I just know, bro, I just don't fucking feel like it. I'm cool. I'm not going to make no excuse, but I, I ain't where I want to be because i just been lazy. I, I just got to that mode of being lazy, but I know I can turn that shit around. You feel me? Um, so mot being motivated to me, it, it's in me. It, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just in me. I, I'm, I'm the person that I'll never give up on anything. Even if you got a million people telling you you can't do it or uh, that ain't going to work, bro, I got to find out myself. You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I feel like if you, um, if you just find that one thing, one thing, I don't care what it is. For me, it's, it's many things. It could be the littlest fucking thing, and I get motivated. You feel me? And it's not materialistic shit, too, but for, my number one is family. That's it. But I love cars. So when I see Range Rovers, and I see BM, I'm a BMW going, I see BMWs or Teslas, I'm like, bro, that shit get me fired up. I'm like, bro, I got to have that car. And it makes me just go harder. You feel me? So whatever it is for you, you have to find that that keeps you going every day. Like, you got to pull yourself back when you, when you find yourself getting into that mode of, like, Man, when is this shit gonna end, boy? I've been busting my ass for five years straight, bro. God, when is it? You know what I mean? Like, everything comes when it's supposed to come. If it's for you, it will find you. And that's how I live. Like, can't nobody tell me I'm not gonna be able to get to where I'm get where I'm going. I can't even explain it because if I didn't feel like that, bro, I'd be in a dark place right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I would be in a very dark place right now. So, I hope you guys like. You know what I'm saying? Like, find inspiration and, and and motivation in my videos you feel me like if you don't that's already a problem like you know what i mean like because that's that's what my channel is built around even when i was doing the car shit it was to motivate people your shit can look like this you can get to the bag you can get the, you can have the type of car now it's like i'm showing you my world of how i'm going to get to that bag how i'm getting to the bag now how i'm gonna I'm finally be uh open up that financial freedom and at the end of the day it's about generational wealth this ain't just about me this is i'm trying to set my kids up and their kids and, and I'm instilling the shit I'm doing now. I'm instilling, I'm instilling it to my kids because I just don't, I don't personally believe in that old school shit, a traditional going to school, going, you know, waste your time at school, getting a, uh, a degree that ain't probably going to fucking help you. I'm teaching my kid entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? Or if they want to be a basketball player, go for that. But you do not, I don't want my kids getting caught up working a nine to five, bro, because that's just, it's miserable. They're going to miss out on their kids growing up. They're gonna miss out on their fucking wife, their family. Like, I'm not. I don't. I don't believe in that, bro. So, I'm. I'm, I'm doing all of this shit, like I said, for family. But it's to see my let my uh, kids see that you have to work for everything that you want. When you put that work in, you'll get there. Don't fall. I'm telling them all the time. Yeah, I make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, but it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be working as hard as I am to get to it. You feel me? Like, so I teach them, man. Don't settle. Don't. You don't want to grow up because it's a lot for lots of me to get here. You don't want to do what I do, bro. Man, listen, I'm gonna support you. You want to make clothes for a living? living? I got the manufacturers. I've, I already went through that whole process. Man, we can jump straight into it. You want to play basketball? I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna go to every game that I can. You need the shoes? I'm, I'm here, That's, I'm a shoe guy. You, you know, we got the plug, for real, you feel me? So, um, I hope this is coming off right, man. This is just like a vlog on how to stay motivated, you feel me? Like, I, I definitely have my days, but they, you know what I mean? When I have one of those days, they don't last too long. It's like 10 or 15 minutes, man, then, then I might see a Tesla or a BMW and they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's, man, we gotta get to it, you man, because being frumpy ain't gonna get me no fucking wear at all. You know what I mean? It's gonna delay my process. Um, but um, I, I, I want you guys to, to live by, can't nobody tell you how to do you at the end of the day. If you believe in something, go for it. Fact, you know what I'm saying? So, um, this side is big as fuck. Though. Look at that big ass motherfucker. Goddamn, that look like one of them goddamn pieces of equipment from the goddamn Avatar movie. That motherfucker humongous, bro. Oh, hold on, real quick. I want to show you. Listen, <laughs> y'all know I'm on my on my lunch here, right? This is uh the Cafe de la Ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is uh my lunch. That's my lunch right there. What that look like? A prison bag. 
This literally has my lunch in there, and this is how we heat it up. The heater, we got the heater on goddamn uh, the defrost, you know what I mean, for the front. And then in my bag, I got two, I get in my bag, I got two Gatorades and an ice pack. But that's how we, that ain't no microwave. You know what I'm saying? This is how we heat up our lunch. Like with a goddamn prison type, you feel me? So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog now. I mean, I mean, I haven't showed you guys nothing I, I've done today as far as work. I mean, if you guys want to see a little turd burglar, y'all, that's on y'all. I don't know if y'all, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I do for a living, but, you know what I mean? If y'all want to see a little turd burglar, man, we about to go knock out this, this uh, unit for for this uh, site right now. You know, sometimes guys just take a lot of piss and be filled with just liquids and shit, so every day ain't a bad day. But if it is, man, you got to get through the shit anyway because it ain't complaining, they're going to get you no goddamn where It's just going to delay your process. You feel me? We gotta get to the, we gotta get to it, and we have to enjoy the journey. And sometimes I find myself not enjoying the journey. Then I gotta reel my shit back in because that story at the end, that story of that journey, is gonna be the best fucking part. Like you are gonna be able to look back, and I'm documenting my shit on YouTube, so it's like I'm gonna be able to look at it like, bro, I remember the times with club. I was barely doing this. I was feeling this at this time. Like, man, boom, look at me now. Like, this is what I put in all those years and hard work for. You feel me? So fuck the complaining, bro. Like for real. Get to it. And I, I mean, drop it in the comments. Let me know if you guys have those days. Let me know if you, you doing this truck driving shit, you have to be a very self-motivating person. If you're not, you're gonna struggle. I'm very self-motivated. It just takes a little bit of something to motivate me. And for me, it's my family. I see my family every day. And when I'm at work, I, I want them to have the best life. I want them to drive like the best cars. Like uh, the Tesla for me is like, we don't have to worry about gas. It's low maintenance. Like it has a lot of safety features. Yeah, every car comes with some bad shit, but that's what I want my people driving as of now, you feel me? Like, and then on the app, I can see where everybody is, you know what I mean? If something happened, the app lets me fucking know, like, I don't know, you know, I know I can't control everything or something, you know, I leave a lot of shit in God's hands, but I gotta work on that, trying to control shit, because I really can't. Um, but yeah, let's go knock out this, um, this unit over there. We got a long, uh, you know, we got uh, 32 stops today, and I have a pickup that I can't pick up until afternoon, and it's only 10 o'clock right now. So, um, I might stop on the, uh, the fucking, uh, the headgear and then knock out the toilet and let you guys, you know, see a little bit of my day. But for the most part, this video is about staying motivated, be motivated, man, be self-motivating. Find that little piece of something in you that you can, you can go off of every day that gets you. And listen, at the end of the day, if you wake up every day, that's a blessing. You feel me? So you, you can take that into account. I know as humans, man, we get lost in the sauce all the time. But, you know, you got to reel that shit back in and find and find the purpose, you feel me, behind you waking up every day because you're here for a reason, and that's a fact, you feel me? So that's how I look at life. I'm, I woke up for a reason. Some motherfuckers are dying and they sleep, you feel me? Um, but, yeah, um, let me go ahead and uh, get over to the unit, man. We got we got a pretty long day still, like I said, 13 hours. Um, and I'm going to turn this camera back on when I feel like it's something that I want to talk about or I show you something, like, really good. We're going to turn it back on. You dig? Let's get over here. So I'm gonna show y'all a little you know what I'm saying for the motherfucking like turd burglars out there. I'm gonna show y'all a little turd burglars. Alright, there you go. There it is. You see it? Two minutes is on, and two seconds is gone. Dirty, nasty, stinky world in this motherfucker, man. 
You got to be self-motivating. Every day I work, man, I see the bigger picture flashing in front of my eyes. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Hey, sometimes this motherfucker right here, look at stop fighting me, bruh. Oh, damn. This motherfucker gonna get you fucked up right here, boy. Y'all see, y'all saw that, uh, y'all saw that, um, going from clean to not clean. We'll go ahead and complete that out. You feel me? Turd, no turd. You feel me? There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Where are you You know, I like to keep an eye on my house. You feel me? Like, Just somebody walking their dog. Whatever. You feel me? Before I end this vlog, man. Vlog, man. Goddamn vlog. Vlog. Before I end this vlog, man, I'm gonna show you guys my my lunch, man. I'm gonna go ahead and, and eat right now. We're gonna close this motherfucker out. So we started at six this morning. It's now 11:24. Bust it. Bust it open. Bust it open. You feel me? Bust down, Tatiana. Come on, Tatiana. Come on, baby. Take your drawers off, man. Take your drawers off. Man. Yes, sir. Oh, let me show y'all what I'm working with, what I'm working with. Got my spoon. Hey! You know what I'm saying? Got some chicken. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We got some kind of like bake going on here. Uh, hold on, hold on. With some kind of bake. So this is my lunch for today. These, these damn... Uh, these are bomb as hell right here. Uh, but this is my lunch I'm about to eat. Then I got my Gatorade right here. Just a little, you know, we can't have too much sugar. Just a little uh, 12 ounce joint right there. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I stay motivated, man. Don't let nobody trick you out your spot. You feel me? Find that little spark that's going to drive you every day. That's what this video is basically boils down to. Have a little fun. Crack a little joke. You feel me? But at the end of the day, we stay serious. And we stay motivated. You feel me? So... Drop it in the comments, man. Let me know if you guys have a hard time staying motivated. 
a matter of fact, let me know what motivates you. You know what I mean? Because I know it's a lot of people out there are self-motivating that are getting to the bag. And if you ask me, like I said with my kids, if you want to get into trucking, I suggest you get into trucking only because you don't have to have no experience as far as like going to get your CDL. Yes, you can go get onto a job like Prime Inc. and you know shit like that and get your training, whatever, a month, two months, three months, whatever it is. But bro, unless you're going to be a doctor, lawyer, fucking some shit that allows you, you know, that you have to have a degree, bro, don't go get in debt to get out and make $80,000 a year and got $300,000 of debt. That's just me. I'm not telling you what to do. That's just, I don't, it doesn't make any logic. At the end of the day, these schools are businesses just like this whole world is a fucking business. You feel me? Um, so that's, I just want to drop some gems, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys enjoyed the vlog. You know what I'm saying? On to the next vlog. Probably going to do that motherfucker tomorrow. You feel me, man? The consistency pays off. You feel me? But I don't want this to get cold because you said we did the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Baked at home and baked in the goddamn truck. You gotta love trucking like that. Oh, and man, listen, as a trucker, I wash my people. You feel me? Uh, this is Queen P. Uh, you feel me? Uh, her shit, I, I like her energy, bro. You feel me? So I'm about to uh, start down this shit in like five minutes. I'm about to watch five minutes of her shit. And then I'm gonna get back on the road, man. It's only, it's 11.30, we got a long day. But I'm catching you guys in the nice vlog. And the, man, what is wrong, Mike? I'm going to catch you guys in the next vlog. We ain't cutting out shit. We keeping it raw and authentic. It's your boy, Food Sticker Man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel like right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, uh, get a video a like and drop it in the comments. You feel me? Let's talk about it. I'm going to catch you guys in the next vlog, bro. I'm out. That's another reason I love my job. I have to turn the camera on. The video was done. The vlog was over. But I'm at this customer's house. You feel me? And he just came in and dropped me a $10 bill. You feel me? And that's one thing I forgot to mention with my job. Like, people give tips because they appreciate um, what you do for them. You know what I'm saying? I pulled up on job sites. And you're like, man, you're the most important person on our job site. You feel me? So the biggest tip I've ever think I've gotten uh, multiple times is 100 bucks. You feel me? But do I appreciate the 5 and the 10 and the $20? They'd be like, hey, here's 10 bucks. Go grab some lunch. Or here's $20. Go grab a, a case of beer on me after work. Happens all the fucking time. You feel me? So now this is the first time I've actually recorded it. Um, he said him and his wife pre appreciate me cleaning his unit and making it smell good um, because they hate their property so goddamn big. You know what I'm saying? That they hate they hate when they're outside having to walk all the way over to the house and to, to the bathroom and they got a uh, honey bucket right out, right out here by the slide glass door. So um, I appreciate shit like that. It lets me know that I'm doing something great and they really appreciate, you know, me making their shit look good and smell good at the same time. It's a little shit. But that's it. That's all. That's the end of the vlog, man. Until tomorrow, I'm going to catch you guys.